So is it just our imagination or do us Floridians actually have a lower tolerance for the cold? Mm. We got this question. My dad says when I moved from somewhere cold to somewhere warm, my blood thinned. Is that true? Aha. Well, according to the Mayo Clinic and also Dr. PJ Miller, that is not true. What? Here's why, listen. <laughs> so this is actually what we'd refer to as an old wives tale, meaning there is no significant medical evidence behind this question that that, that actually happens. But even with saying that, that is something that a lot of people do experience temperature differently when moving from a northern climate to a southern climate. And a lot of that just has to do with the perception and getting used to a warmer climate. Hmm, okay. So, but what does change, according to the Mayo Clinic, is your blood pressure. Generally, it is higher in the winter and lower in the summer. Okay. Because, uh, well, lower temperatures, they cause blood vessels to narrow. So your blood needs more pressure to move through the thinner veins and arteries. Okay. Not the thickness of your blood. Okay. It's good to how know. much effort your body's putting in to pump it through you. So basically he's, cause he's just calling us a wimp, basically. You That's what Florida. it's become. Yeah, I've become a wimp. But I will continue to tell my family of North that no, it's just, it's thin. Honestly, thin I mean, come on, when you get used to temperatures, like, I mean, it's December, right? Yeah, yeah. Temperatures is morning, 8 o'clock, low 70s. When you get used to that, and muggy too. And and no muggy. Mm -hmm. So when you get used to that, it's like, okay, yeah, maybe I am a little wimp. When you get further, you know. <laughs> embrace it. When you, yeah, like sometimes, you know, you just kind of embrace it. It's your life now. And then you go back north, it's like, oh, this is, this is uncomfortable. This is cold.